This guide shows you how to get yourself a great free, easy personal accounting piece of software, which is basically available to everyone. Whether you're on a Windows machine, Mac or Linux, it's available to you too. And it's great because you can import your data from the most popular accounting packages out there, such as Quicken, Microsoft Money, and many other software packages that allow you to export in QIF, OFX, QFX, and CSV format. And although I was never a user of Microsoft Money, I do hear that it is a good alternative to Microsoft Money. And as I say, it's completely free. So as I say, you can use this on a multitude of operating systems such as Windows, Mac OS and uh, Linux. In this example, I'm gonna show you how to load it on a Windows 10 PC. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open my browser, which is Microsoft Edge. And once it's open, I'm gonna to go to the address bar right at the very top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle of the screen, but the address bar right at the top. Click in it, delete out anything that may be in there. And then I'm gonna type homebank.free.fr that's homebank.free.fr all in lowercase and no spaces once you've typed that press enter or return on your keyboard then after a few moments you should get this page come up now don't worry if it says that it's not secure at the top there it just means that the website itself is not a HTTPS secured website, but don't worry, that doesn't matter because we're not gonna be giving any financial information away or any personal information here. We're just gonna use this website to download the actual program. So it doesn't actually need to be secured, so do not panic. Okay, so all I do is I just move my mouse over downloads just at the top there, left click once, and then we get the downloads page and you can select here your operating system that you want to download on, or you can follow the commands if you've got a new Linux distribution there. So let's say mine's Windows, so I'm gonna click on the latest version there, which is, as I'm recording this video, it's Homebank 5.5. So I'm just gonna move the mouse over that, left click once, and we should see in a moment, there you go, in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, it downloading. Now this bit might take a bit of time, just depends on the speed of your internet connection. As you can see, mine's now scanning for viruses, and this bit again might take a little bit of time. So just wait until scanning for viruses disappears or the figures below the actual uh, line disappears if you're using Chrome. So that should take a couple of moments. I'm just gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it. Oh, there we go, it's done, so it's downloaded. So what I can do is I can either click on the file down here, or if I've downloaded it using another, another package, what I can do is I can just close down the browser just by clicking the cross in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Click on any yellow folder on the desktop or at the bottom here, or if you haven't got a yellow folder, click on the Start button and then click on this Documents uh, icon just here and then all we do is once this window's appeared, click on Downloads. Once we've clicked on Downloads, somewhere in here we should see Home Bank and then some numbers followed by the word Setup. As, I, as you can see, I've got Home Bank 5.5 set up because it's version 5.5, but if you're watching this video later on, then you might find that you've got a later version of Home Bank and therefore the 5.5 might be different. So just double left click on Home Bank. Then when this screen appears, we've got a choice here. We can install for me only. So whatever user you're currently logged in as, it will install for that, or we can install for all users. Now, if you're gonna be the only one using this computer um, that's gonna need Home Bank set up, then all we need to do is click on install for me only. If the computer's got multiple users and multiple people are gonna be using Home Bank for their own personal use, then click install for all users. So I'm just gonna go with what's recommended there and click on install for me only. So let's just click on that. And then we get this screen appear. So it says here, this will install Home Bank 5.5 on your computer. It's recommended that you close all other applications before continuing. So just make sure every everything else is closed off of the screen. It's okay to leave this window open in the background here. So 
click next to continue or cancel to exit the setup. So I'm going to move my mouse over next, left click once, and here we go. We've got the terms and conditions there. So have a read through that first of all. And if you agree with them, then move your mouse over the little circle to the left of I accept the agreement, left click once, then move your mouse over next, and again, left click once. And here we have a choice. It says, please choose the type of installation, then click next. So we can install it on the desktop. So we can install it on your computer's program file or if you want to install it on a portable device such as a USB stick or a mobile device such as a uh, uh, an external hard drive then you can do that but I'm going to just play it but uh, play it safe and just going to install it on the computer so let's move the mouse over next and left click once and here's where it's going to install it on the computer if you're happy with it being installed there then move your mouse over next left click once else browse to a different location if you're not sure what you're doing just leave that part alone move your mouse over next and left click once and then it gives us an option to create a desktop shortcut so i'm just going to move my mouse over the little box to the left of that left click once and put a tick in there so it creates a, a shortcut on the desktop then move my mouse over next left click once and there we go, it gives us a summary of what we've just selected. So move the mouse over, install, left click once, and now it's installing. Now this bit might again take a little bit of time. It really depends on the speed of your computer. Just be patient with it and let it run. As you can see, mine's nearly done and mine's come up with an error. So it says, I persist file, save file code 0x8070.05, access is denied. Now, what I think is, it looks like it's not going to create a shortcut on the desktop because we haven't got administrative permissions to do that. So I'm just going to click OK on that and then I'm just going to click on finish and let's see where the home bank launches. Hopefully it will. And I'm just going to click on the cross here to get rid of this box here. But in actual fact, before I do that, I'm just going to get rid of the setup file. So I'm just going to click on delete just up the top there. And it says, are you sure you want to move this file to the recycle bin? Well, I'm going to say yes. That's all right. If we need that again, we can download it later on, but hopefully we won't need it. Then I move the mouse over the cross just up there to get rid of the downloads windows. And there you go. Like I say, Home Bank has actually loaded perfectly fine on there so uh, and we've got options here we can open the last file open create a new file open an existing file open the example file we can read the home banks manual or we can configure preferences so i'm just going to configure preferences so let's just click on that okay so what i'm really interested in here is i'm just going to change the location for the folders so so i'm going to move my mouse over folders just there left click once and as we can see so the home bank files says here it's going to save under c users and then chris which is the username but really what i want to do is i want to save that in my document so i'm just going to click on the little folder just to the right there OK, now we'll get this window come up and I just want to select on the left hand side here documents. OK, and then just up here, there's a, a new folder icon, this little folder with a plus beside it. So just going to click on that to create a folder and I'm going to call the folder name. I'm going to call it Home Bank. OK, and then I'm going to move the mouse over create left click once and that gives us a folder called Home Bank. And then I'm going to move the mouse over open and left click once. For backups, um, what I can do is I can save that um, anywhere I like. So if you've got a, I don't know, a, a USB stick that you want to back up to, then you can just point that to the USB drive if you've got it plugged in. Or like me, if I'm going to, I'm going to back it up to OneDrive. I'm going to click on that folder there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on C local disk. OK, and then I'm going to click on users. And then I'm going to click on Chris and where is it? There you go. OneDrive is just there. I'm going to double click OneDrive and then I'm going to click on the create folder and I'm just going to call that Home Bank Backup. So I'm going to call that Home Bank Backup and then click create. And what it's done now is it's created a folder called Home Bank Backup in my OneDrive file. So I'm going to click on OK. And there we go. So hopefully now, because I use OneDrive, it's going to back up to OneDrive automatically. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on General and I'm just going to go down this list, clicking on the different options here and just make sure that everything is 
okay for me we've got all the right settings so I'm going to change the, the, the date order to DMY because I'm in the UK reports there yep that's all, all, all okay so yeah so now I've done that I can click on okay just down there and that's done so what I can do is I'm just going to close this down so click on the cross just up there to close it down and I'm just going to open it up again now because we our computer wouldn't put a shortcut to it what I'm going to do is to find it I'm just going to click on the start button and when I click on the start button I'm just going to type home bank on the keyboard and there we go it comes up under best match home bank app so left click on that and there you go home bank open so I'm just going to open the example file to work on at the moment so here we go this just gives us an example we can play about with things so we've got different accounts here we've got a paypal account a bitcoin account an american account a french account a check account all these things here so yeah if we was paying something from our french account we can just click on french account and then click on add and then okay so we've got an expense here or we've got an income or we can do a transfer from one account to another so this is an expense I'm just putting in so okay so it's a payment and it was a direct debit payment and it was for 20 euros say and we can select the date here and it was the 27th of February and the payee let's just select that from a list that was France Telecom and the category here it was if I go down it was telephone just there invoices telephone and we can put a memo there if we want we can tag it if we want to tag it we've got some info here we can put in, in here um, I'm just gonna click on add and once I've clicked on add and then I click close as you can see there my French account balance has gone down from 1500 euros to 1480 euros great great little program you can also do reports so if I want to do a report here let's just uh, do a balance report so click on that and there's not really much to see on that let's try another report there so let's do budget report there you go so that tells us what we've spent on there and if we wanted to export this to uh, print it then what we could do is we can export it as a csv file so here we go we just click on this up here and uh, we do result to csv i'm gonna, gonna choose a place to save it so let's just save it in documents there and uh, let's just save it in home bank and there you go so we've got hb rep budget category so we can change that name if we don't like it or we can just click save but whatever just make a note of what you've put in up the top there because we're going to import it into excel in a moment so i'm just going to click save file there okay let's close that down and i'm going to go into excel so just going to save the changes so let's just click save on there and i'm going to open up excel so i'm just going to click on the start button and then type in excel on the keyboard and then under best match Excel should appear click on Excel and once Excel has loaded we need to go into a blank workbook and then we need to go into data we've got here from text slash CSV so click on that and let's just try and find the file that we just saved so I'm going to go into home bank and there it is so I'm just going to double click on that and here we go it gives us a summary here of what it's going to import so let's just click on load just down here and there we go it's imported it now into excel so we can then save that if we want to to email off or store or if we wanted to we can print that if we need to so there you go that's a great little program as i say a great free alternative to many of the other personal finance software i hope this guide helps and i hope you enjoy using Homebank, thanks for watching.